Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can customize the WooCommerce single product page using the Spectra 1 theme. So I'm using Spectra 1 theme and this is the default layout of the single product page. So we will see how we can customize this single product page layout. In the previous videos, I have shown you how to customize the shop page layout in Spectra 1 theme. So this is the default shop page layout of the Spectra 1 theme. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. I have also created videos on how to customize the header section as well as the footer section using the Spectra 1 theme. So I'll give you all the links in the description box. If you want to watch those video, you will find the links in the description box. Let me show you the theme. This is the theme Spectra 1. This is the free theme and it is compatible with the WooCommerce plugin also. And let me show you the plugins I'm using the Spectra plugin as well as the Spectra Pro plugin and the WooCommerce plugin. I have published many videos on how to use the Spectra as well as the Spectra Pro plugin. Let me show you some products that I have already created on this website. So these are some dummy products that I have created on this dummy WooCommerce website. So let's go to the product page. On the default layout, you will see this is the product image. Then we have title, the pricing, the short description. Then we have add to cart and the category that is nothing but the meta of this particular product. Then we have product description reviews and below that we have related products. It will show some products related to this particular product in the same category. So let's go back to the dashboard. On the dashboard, you will see appearance and under appearance, you will themes and editor. Let's go to editor. So in, so in order to edit the layouts, you need to go to the editor of the Spectra 1. So when you go to editors, you will see different options here. Navigation, styles, pages, templates and patterns. Navigation is nothing but the menu items. It can be in the header section or it can be in the footer section. So you can create different menus using navigation. Below that we have styles for the customization of the color combination for your WordPress website. So you will see some different styles here. Then we have pages. Under pages, you will see these pages are there. Then we have templates. So these are the templates for different sections of your website, such as you will see the template for the single post, single product, single sidebar, as well as you will see product catalog. So this is nothing but the shop page, which I have explained in the previous video. And if you want to customize the header and footer, you will see that under the patterns, under pattern, you will see header and footer section. Let's go back and let's go to templates. And under templates, you will see this single product. So this is nothing but the single product page for the WooCommerce. So click on it. And this is how it looks. And in order to customize, you need to click on this icon. Click on it. So now you will be on the dashboard where you can customize the single product page. This is the header section. Then we have breadcrumbs. You will see it here. If you want to change the color, you can change it from here. If you do not want breadcrumbs, you can simply Select that option and from here you can delete the breadcrumbs. So let's see if I want to change, I can change the color. Let's use this one. And for the link, I'm going to change the color to let's say a red. Let me open the page also. This is the breadcrumb that we are customizing. Below that we have store notice. So if you have any notice for the store, it will show that here. On this dummy website, I do not have any store notice. Below that we have a column section. In the left hand column we have product image and the gallery image. In the right hand column we have title, reviews, pricing, short description, then add to cart and this is the meta. And then we have product description and related products. Now if you want to see the structure you can simply click here list view and you will see the structure of this page. This is the header, this is footer and below the header we have group. This is nothing but the entire group. In the group, we have this store breadcrumb. You will see it here. So if you want to customize it, you can select that one. And in the right hand side, you will see this option. Sometimes it will not show. You will need to click on this option settings and it will show the settings for this particular block into the right hand side. If you want to change the size, you can change the size. You can change the size using pixels or from the default size. Next is store notice. This is the store notice. We do not have anything there. Below that we have two columns. 
So you, if I expand it, you will see two different columns. This is the first one and this is the second one. In the first column, we have product image gallery. So this is the product image gallery. If you want to delete, you can simply select that one and delete from here. And in the second column, we have product title, rating, price, product summary, add to cart and product meta. So if I go to product title, you will see the settings for the product title. If you want to change the color, you can change it from here. Let's change the color. Let's make it red color, dark red color. And you can also change the typography. You can change the size. Let's say I want to use 25. So it will show smaller one. Let's use 35. And this is how it will look. Under appearance, you can change the font width. width. And this is the letter case. If you want it in uppercase, you can select this one. Under typography, you can also change the font size or font family. Below that, we have padding and margin setting for the title. Below that, we have responsive setting for the title. If you do not want to show the title on the mobile, you can simply disable it from here. But I don't think you need to disable it for the mobile device. If you want to see how does this look on the mobile, from here, you can select mobile. And this is how it will look on the mobile device. If you select tablet, it will show like this on the tablet. And this is how it will look on the desktop. Now below that we have product ratings. So if you have ratings for the product, it will show in this section. For the product ratings, we have margin settings only. Below that we have product price. This is the product price. And for the product price also, we have the padding and the margin settings. So if you do not want, you can delete it from here. This is the product price, a block that is added here. You can change the alignment to the center, uh, to the left or to the right. Next is product summary. And for the product summary, we have color options. You can change the color options from here. So let's change the color. All right, so this is how it will look. The next option is add to cart. So these are the blocks which are available for the WooCommerce products. You can select different blocks and add the blocks to your single product page template. Below that we have product meta. This will show category, product, SKU. So if I expand it here, you will see a row and under row you will see three different product metas such as product SKU, category and product tags. So if you do not want product tags, you can simply delete the product tags and it will not show the product tag here. So you will see the tag is already added here. If I delete, it will not show this tag. Then we have product details. Here you will see the product details. Let me close this column. And let's go to product details. So this is a block for the single product page, description, additional information and reviews. And for this block, we have padding settings only. Below that we have the title, the heading. This is the heading, related products. You will see it here. You can change the color. And you can also change the product typography, the heading typography and the size, the font family from here. Then we have product template so it will show some products related to the main product so this is the main product and you will see some products other products which will be shown here so if i go to the product template you will see the options how many columns you want right now it shows five columns you can change it to four columns or three columns just like this under advanced you will see the css for this one and here you have customization settings for this product template. If I expand this one, you will see four different options there. Product image, product title, price, and add to cart. You will see that here, image, title, price, and add to cart. So if you do not want any one of these options, you can delete that one. Let's say I do not want I add to cart. So I can simply go here and delete that option. And it will go away from this template. So it will not show add to cart for this one. Now, if you want to change the title color, you can simply select that option. And from here, you can change the title color. 
you can also change the size and typography all right let's close it let's close this one from here so this is how it will look now if you want to add more blocks to this particular layout you can simply click on the plus sign here and from here go to blocks and search for the blocks that you want to add if i search for product you will see all the blocks which are related to products you will see it here product title we already have it here then product tags we have it here product summary is there product categories let's say if you want to add product categories you can simply drag it and drop it somewhere here all right so i'm going to delete this one go to blocks and search for the products again let's see what other options we have we have product result count that will be mostly used on the shop page product rating product details are already there product reviews so if you want to add reviews you can also add reviews product meta all reviews if you want to show all the reviews you can add that block just below this option so it will show all the reviews on the woocommerce website now if you want to show all the products you can simply select this block and drag it and drop it here it will show all the blocks just below this item now you will see this filter by price filter by attribute this will be used on the shop page now if i search for woocommerce you will see all the blocks related to woocommerce let's say i want to show mini card so what i'll do i'll drag it and drop it here so it will show the mini card on the single product page also just like this here now if you want to show best selling products below the related products you can drag it and drop it here here you will see new products if i drag it and drop it below this one let's see and this will show the new products which are recently added to your shop and for the new products you will see the filtration option you can see you can use three columns and three rows so it will show only the nine products which are newly added to your woocommerce store here you will see more customization as compared to the related products you you can show the image title you can disable that one if you do not want add to cart you can simply disable it from here and you have the control how many products you want to show there filter by stock in stock out stock filter by category so you can select the categories show the products here all right let's close this one delete this one all right so let's do one thing let's save this one so we have made some changes to the single product page template and let's go to the single product this is the default single product page i'm going to refresh it now you will see some changes that that we have applied to the single product page template you will see this change in color then change in color to this one we have removed the tags also you will see the reviews and from here we have got removed the add to cart button and here you will see a small mini cart option that we have added now let's say i want to add some spacing to the top and to the bottom of this layout so let's go back let me remove this mini cart and let's select let's go to the list view and we have selected this group the entire group and you will see some option let's go to the style settings and let's add some padding here to the top and to the bottom you will see it here let's click on this one and add the padding manually so we have added 50 pixel save it let's go back refresh it and you will see some padding is added the mini cart is removed so this is how you can customize the woocommerce single product page in the spectra one theme so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips